I hate this so much. 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 Hi guys, my name's Andrea and welcome to Barbie Punk. I was practicing pride makeup today. I don't know what I want to do for it. <laughs> I kind of like this. I'll probably do like crazy lashes and like rhinestones on the actual day, but that's why we're rainbows today. So today's video is about Kawaii International. If I time this correctly, voting should be open today. So if you wanna vote for me, my link will be in the description. And if you entered yourself, leave a comment with your own link and let's just all support each other. So if you do not know, NHK is a Japanese entertainment company that hosts a yearly competition called Kawaii International. Basically what they're doing is they're looking for women across the world that are into Kawaii culture, Japanese culture, and have incorporated their love of Kawaii culture into their life and their fashion sense. So every year they host this competition looking for those people so that one or a couple of them can become kawaii leaders. So today I just kind of wanted to give you an inside look into my outfit, how I came up with it, and kind of the shooting process of it. Today they are starting the very first phase of the competition, which is viewer voting. So if you like my look, please vote for me. And again, if you entered, put your links in the comments. I wanna check everyone out. Let's be a fun, happy community and all support each other. Another exciting thing about this competition is that they announced the winner on my birthday. So if you wanna give me a really cool birthday present. So let's just get into it, yeah? I had originally heard of the Kawaii International competition, I think from Kelly Eden. She was a winner two years ago. And then our dear, dear Pixie Locks was the winner last year. Ish. <laughs> Took them a while to release everything, but they flew her out to Japan. They gave her a Pixie Locks dream tour and posted a full episode for us to view. And that is kind of when I got started on coming up with ideas. So a big inspiration for me in my life is candy. I have a ridiculous sweet tooth and I wanted to make a full-on drippy candy explosion outfit. So I looked around, I found this amazing sprinkle fabric on Etsy and I had my friend Alex, who I own a clothing company with, make a different version of our drip mask that looked like these. I think I've already shown this to you, but I wanted to plan my entire look around this. I think my two biggest kawaii influences for this specific look was Decora and Fairy K. So there's a lot of like flowy fabric, pastels, but then just an abundance of accessories. Hello and welcome to my crafting table. It seems like I have a lot of stuff on here. That's because I kind of do. I'm making like three different outfits right now. Oh, there come the doggos. So I'm working on my Kawaii International outfit right now. I decided to base the whole outfit on this little drip mask that my friend and I recently put out for our clothing line, Social Armor, link in the description, but I'm going to make a matching harness for it and then I also had her just quickly put together this tutu and I'm just gonna glue a bunch of crap onto it. Okay, first step is thread a bobbin because I don't have any in this pink color. Most sewing machines are gonna have a little diagram for you so you can just follow that but you just swoop and then push this guy in. Dink! So this is the plan. Basically, I'm gonna take all these little strips, fold them in half, pin them, sew them, turn them inside out, and then, and then iron them flat. 
that's step number one. Step number two is I already constructed this guy in the shape that I want it to be. So I'm just gonna use this guy as a pattern for this one. And then once that is all sewn together, I'm going to probably start gluing some little like candy pieces here and there. And that will be the harness done. turn these inside out. I wish I had a bigger safety pin, but I don't, unfortunately. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to clip the safety pin to one end of this long noodle, and I'm going to bring it through the entire length of my long noodle. This is the worst fabric that I've ever had to turn inside out. Normally, at this stage, I can just pshoo and it's done. But no, this one keeps getting caught on itself because it's like too thick. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Cha-chong. And at this point, look at how like wrinkly and stupid it looks. So I'm gonna have to iron this. I didn't film it, but I just ironed those. So neat. Now they are flat and ready to be turned into a thing. Okay, so I have all my pieces cut out and now I'm just adding little pins to kind of where I want them to be. I've got some seam allowance here so I can fold them all over where the little O-rings will go. Oh yeah, and I'm going to decorate the crap out of it with candy. <laughs> Question is, do I want to glue sprinkles to this tutu? I'm probably going to have to do it one by one. Yike. I'm going to try making sprinkles with this instead. We'll see how it works. is the progress so far basically <laughs> I puffy paint on all these little guys I wait for them to dry it takes about three hours for it to dry and then I move on to <laughs> another part of it but it's actually looking kind of cool like if you look right here like those look like sprinkles right just finished there's the edge over there and it's gonna look pretty cute when it's all bunched up together, I hope, I truly, truly hope, it's definitely a far away sort of effect because close up it looks like, ugh, <laughs> like blurp, blob, glurp, glup, glap, glurp, glurp, and some of them like took some of the newspaper with them. It's a whole, it's a whole ordeal, but hopefully it looks cute when I put it on. <laughs> I did this like way too last minute. We're gonna go take the photos tomorrow so I don't have any time to like change my mind if I decide that I don't look good in this. So, oops. I just went like one color at a time, making glob globs. If I did it like this, it would be rainbow order. Rainbows. It's all sewed and now I've placed some little candy pieces here and there and I'm working on gluing them all on. Now 
Now I'm just gluing a bunch of candies to different bobby pins and stuff. We'll see how that works out. All right, guys, here we are getting ready for my Kawaii International picture. I'm basically just curling my hair and pinning it up. We're driving really far away, so I wanna make sure my curls stay for that whole thing, that whole ordeal. So I'm making sure I pin them up and then I'm gonna do my makeup while they set. And yeah, basically I take sections of my hair. I use this guy, I got him from Target. Wow. And I just kind of, I do it upwards, I don't know why. There we are. And I hold this for like 20 seconds. Or I count to 20, it's not really 20 seconds. And then I use a bobby pin to hold it up. I notice that when I do this to my hair, the curls last way longer, so that's why I do it. We are on our way to shoot my Kawaii International look. My face is rejecting all the makeup that I put onto it. I made a bunch of things and it's gonna be a fun time. If you don't know what Salvation Mountain is, it's been in a lot of different like music videos. I think it was in Kesha's Praying. It's this really beautiful like painted, um, it's kind of like a mountain. Anyway, so I'm gonna do my hair in the car. As we drive, we got like two and a half hours to go, and that's the plan for today. So I've put my hair up in some little buns, basically. I just uh, gathered them up and then bobby pinned them, and in a bit, I'm gonna start adding random candies to them. for this look is basically candy decora. Look at uh hopefully she stays, hopefully she looks okay from the front. I'm not sure because this mirror is the tiniest thing I've ever seen. Ow, ow. Hi, welcome to the mountain. Hi. No, I'm not a flower. It was a bee, and I said, oh no, I'm not a flower. Here we are, doing a thing, living a life. Ooh, in here is pretty cool too. I'll show them. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe we should do some pictures in here too. But we're just doing the, uh, Hawaii International photo shoot here first.
Okay, just finished up doing the kawaii look. Hopefully we got some good pictures. What do you think? Do we get some good pictures? I think so. Usable pictures? I hope so. <laughs> if not, we'll have to do it again. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's a wrap for this outfit currently. So many things were happening during this shoot. There was like wind picking up my tutu so that it blew right up into my face. Candy was falling out of my hair. My top kept falling down. So that's all for this quick little video. I just wanted to give a big shout out to everyone that entered Kawaii International, show you my look, and just kind of celebrate Japanese fashion. Let's talk about it in the comments. If you entered, post your link. If you didn't enter, do you want to? Are you going to next year? But that's about it. Don't forget to like it, subscribe it, share it, bop it, twist it, pass it, and don't ask questions, just go with it.